Yes, I'm just trying to speak for the the gentleman in the house. That's my husband. What you need him for? Uh, his daughter is here to see him. Oh, oh no, she can't come in here. She's not allowed. No, she's not allowed. Daddy, she won't let me talk to you. No, that's she Maria. Won't let me speak no, to you. Wait. It's Maria. Get out of here. It's Maria. He can't. Daddy, Daddy. She don't want to call the police. No, Daddy, she won't let me see you or talk to you. Daddy, I had to fly out here to see you. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, ma'am. 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 Hotel. 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 Open the door, ma'am. Wait, I will. I will. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Okay. 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 Today we have a story that's not highlighted enough. A grown woman who's being alienated by her own stepmother. She's unable to see her father. From my understanding, she was raised by her mother and father, but at some point they got a divorce and in his old age, he remarried this woman right here. And to make matters worse, he has early dementia. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click the notification bell for all updates. Shout out to our brother Ray for sending this video in. I appreciate you, Ray. Won't waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into it. Tell her to get off the step. She's off the step already. Thank you. She cannot come to this house. That's fine. You can come outside, right? I'm going to say, I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what the problem is. All right, don't come here. I don't know what the problem is. You don't even know who she is. Daddy, you know me. No, she don't. I know you. you I'm, 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 I'm not the police officer who I am because yeah, she know, said I'm not the while the wicked Teletubby stepmother sitting up there making all that noise, talking about he doesn't even know who she is, he just told the police, she's my daughter. That's what he said. So despite his condition, he remembers his daughter. So what is the issue? First of all, I've been with my husband for eight years. This woman has not contacted him in the eight years. I contacted Now my husband has dementia, right? He was married before. They have not contacted. I contacted them when I got with my husband. I told her, don't she ever come here because she's a troublemaker. My husband has dementia. He don't even remember. None of these kids, but, but they have still, not. They're still they're his kids, right? They have not contacted him. It's eight, probably longer than that. I don't care if it's been twenty years. They're still his kids. You see, she didn't answer the question. She's talking about, I've been with my husband for eight years. These kids, they haven't contacted him, but the officer said they're still his kids, right? So because they haven't seen him in eight years for whatever reason, they're no longer his kids. The first time, ask her how long she's been here. I was seeing her, my first time seeing her in eight years. Before that, he hasn't seen her. You know? So, she, trouble I don't know these people. You don't know me. He can't tell me nothing about her. Ask him. She kept saying that his daughter was a troublemaker, but she's also saying this is her first time ever seeing her. How was she causing all this trouble and she's never around? She had to fly out to their city just to see him. I guarantee I just told Jackie, the officer, Jackie. you can come here all you want to, Jackie. you will not come to this house again. I'm not gonna stop, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. See, she won't let me in, see. So oh I'm no, you can't come in here. But you don't cause trouble to me, call me, don't call me, call me, honey. I don't give a who. You can't come here. Honey, she can't come here. And I told you that. Mm -mm. She's telling yep. you I can't come here. Exactly. I'm his wife. We live here. This is our home. This is not yours. I don't know. You have to ask, I have to ask the officer. You have, to, you have to say that. She can't live here now. Because there's two of us that don't live here. That's right. And you, can, you, you're you allowed to see who you want to see. And you're allowed to let anybody in your house that you're allowed to let anybody That's, in. I, I, would see, I, I would assume that. Yeah. You are no. on the right. But so because wanna, she's causing us trouble? No, she's causing you trouble. Yeah, she's causing me trouble, huh? No, she's not causing y'all trouble. You're causing her trouble. This woman came all the way from California to see her father that you've been trying to keep away from her. From my understanding, whenever she was calling her dad, the stepmom would never let her talk to him. All of his kids, they've been trying to talk to him. She's alienating all of them. 
so that way she got to stay out. And I'm gonna get up the letter stating that if she comes up here, she could come and see you, but she gotta see you on the outside, hon. Daddy, she cannot come in here. How about we go eat? Oh, Where no, you cannot take my husband anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem, man. <laughs> See, that's the, that's, that's, that's the problem over here. Right. See, you know she what? wants something. You want something. You uh -huh. want, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. See, you don't want to hear. You don't want to listen now. Because you've been talking, talking, talking. And she's been talking, talking, talking. I've been listening. Yeah, put this stuff in your head. Mm -hmm. This woman is so evil, it's painful. She told the daughter, you can come over here, but you got to talk to him outside. So the daughter, she's like, I'll take you out to eat. His wife said, you're not taking my husband anywhere. And while the father is listening, she's trying to over talk. And she's saying that the daughter only wants to take him to put stuff in his head. Yeah, put the correct information in his head because you're the one who's been lying to him about his kids and alienating them. You're the one who's talking. I'm talking now. You don't even let me talk. You see, and she's already talking. I don't say nothing because you got to say what you got to say. I don't know where the problem is there. She's my daughter. I have to respect my daughter. I have to respect my wife. No? First of all, respecting your wife is listening to your wife first with your daughter. <laughs> yes. Well, the Maryland law says children before the spouse. Yes, see that? I don't know about that. Did you put any stuff in your head, hon? No, 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 no. I'm, okay, okay. I, see, I, I, I reverse it just to make it feel better. I have to respect my wife. I have to respect brother because I'm a respectful person and I respect people. But sir, respectfully, your wife isn't respecting you. And please, somebody tell me, why is she trying to keep him away from his kids? And it's not just this one. She's trying to keep him away from all of them. And now that I see him and hear him, his wife was really disrespectful before. Saying, oh, he doesn't even remember them. He's got dementia. He don't even know what he's saying or something like that. She was talking like that. And I'm listening to him right now. I can understand him clearly. He certainly remembered enough to have this conversation. That's right. We, was, we make decisions on our own um, together. Right, but but we this, this business have, about... This, but, but this, this decision that you're making not let her come in the house is by yourself. Because okay, she, she wants can. to see her. So how are you saying that you guys make decisions together? I do not. And you're saying that because she can Because before she came here, me and my husband discussed this. And he said, yes, she cannot come in here. Me and him discussed this. Yeah, you discussed with him that his daughter wasn't coming in there. You didn't want her there, but he's trying to see his daughter. Well, we had that problem that day when the police came. When was that? Yes, we did, a couple of weeks ago. When the police came, I told him right in front of my husband, she cannot come here in this house. I told him she wanted he could see her outside, but she cannot come in here. He was agreed to it. That's what was, that, yeah, we discussed it. I don't tell my husband what to do. I forget things. We discussed it. I forget things, but I don't separate so people. So, again. Hey. Why don't you people both shut up? His wife just called his daughter a B-I-T-C-H, and he's telling both of them to shut up, not directly addressing the wife. And then I don't know if she realized it or not. She just told on herself. She's the one who said that they both made a decision that his daughter can't come over there. But right now, she just said, I told my husband a couple of weeks ago that his daughter could not come back over here. As if she was the one who made an order. I'm not having gone through sickness. I've been through war. I've been, I've been going to Vietnam. I got messed up. And I'm trying, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to straighten my mind up. You know, not straightening it up, but take more control of my mind rather than saying, oh, yeah, I was a nah, man. And I, I, that was... Crap, you know, and that. No, I was, no, I was proud to be in Nama. That's what the country wanted me to do. You know, if I would have died there, I would have died there. Now, are you seeing somebody at the VA hospital? Are you talking to anybody? No, nobody physically, no. No physical, like, um, uh, like psychiatry. Mm -hmm. Like a doctor or something? I, ain't, I, okay. I don't go to the hospital. I don't have, I'm, I'm not sick no, in, in a way that way. Okay. This, this thing, this thing's a mental thing between these people who don't want, don't want, don't want, and want me to, uh, to, not to even have to say one way or the other whether I think it's right or wrong, or what you want, don't want, and it shouldn't be. If, if people's family, within well, family, these people are, are respect one another as being family. And who they with and what they with and what they would like to do or like, not like to do. She, I mean, she really shouldn't be telling me what I to do. I think she thinks she owns me. I think she thinks she owns, she took the time to wear what she wanted to do to become an owner to me too. And it doesn't work that way, you know. I, do I look sick to you? Do I look like I can't take care of myself? Do I look like I don't respect be be her with her? I respect, I love her. I love her. I love, I love people, per, per, period. If a bum come over here and ask me for some money, I love because I'll give them the money, whatever I can give them. So I love people to, I love to help people.
Right, but she's saying that he's. She, you she know, showed me the birth certificate. Everybody, you know, you know, just stop. I mean, she was married to his mother. He could have adopted her. I don't know. Now she's just making up stuff. First, she said that wasn't his daughter. Police said they saw the birth certificate. Man, what are you talking about? He divorced her, her mother. Okay. But anyway, that, that he put their name that on a birth certificate. Them being love related. He does not want. He did not want to speak to these people. Well, clearly he wanted to speak with her. Well, because she came up here and he's saying she's saying, you know, that's his daughter, but she's a troublemaker. It's okay. If that's your daughter, they're gonna cause no trouble. But she's not causing any trouble, she just wanted to see it. No, she, see, this is just today the, the thing that she gave, you know, presented to you, she lives in California. Okay. Like I said, she has never has seen her in more than 10 years. When I got with him, never contacted him. No phone call, no postcards, no letters. Nothing. Okay. Sounds familiar, huh? This is the same trick she tried to pull on her baby daddy when he wanted to see his kids, treating his daughter like her baby daddy. That's why you never get coupled up and married to these bitter women like this. I don't care how old they are. They could be 40, 50, or 60. She still never got that bitterness out of her. She transferred it. She's now just transferring the energy that she had for her baby daddy when she was in her 30s to his daughter. You can be a daughter all you want to, but you gotta play the part. You see what I'm saying? You can call yourself a daughter or a son. If you don't play that part, you ain't no can. Here and I'm not sure about them. You see what I'm saying? This woman is a complete moron. Ma'am, it doesn't work like that. Talking about if you want to call yourself a daughter, you gotta play the part. It's not about calling herself his daughter. She is his daughter. It's a fact, not an opinion. And see, well, then it's here, officer. Then I hung the stop. Wait, he coming here. Don't forget, don't even. Of course, she has to mention that. Exactly. But she has not been in his life, I'm okay, trying so, to tell you that. Maybe she's trying to get back into his life. No, she's a troublemaker. I don't if she wasn't a troublemaker, I don't have a problem. Because me and my husband has a good relationship. Okay. You don't know these people like I do. Okay. She's a damn troublemaker. Okay. I don't care where she lives or who she is, she's gonna cause trouble with me. You come and deal with your father. But when you start to cause trouble with me, you stay away from my house. Because I don't cause trouble with them. Okay. I don't want to pull them up for him. He didn't know how to contact them. If they were his children. They should have been in contact with him before I came to his life. They were not. He said his wife believes she owns him. Here's the thing, I believe his wife is very disrespectful. The daughter didn't yell, curse at her or anything, but she's cursing at the daughter, calling her out of her name, talking about he can't go anywhere like he's a kid. He's a grown man. Why is his wife trying to keep his kids away from him? Trying to control him and control his benefits, that's what it is. He's a marine vet. I bet you everything that the stepmother was a baby mama, and the same way that she's treating the stepdaughter, that's how she used to treat her baby daddies. She's been here before. I'm telling you, the treatment that she's giving his daughter, she's acting like the father is her child, the stepdaughter is her baby daddy, and this is just not cool. Shout out to all the vets, my father is a vet, and after sacrificing so much, who thought that this man right here would have to deal with all of this? I don't like how he's allowing his wife to control him. She's being very disrespectful to his kids. She's disrespecting him. And I believe she's really lying to protect benefits. She's been with this man only eight years versus his kids who are 30, 40, and possibly pushing 50. The stepmother is out of order. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. If you married a man or woman and you have kids with somebody else, you have to make sure that you have things worked out and don't allow this to happen to you. Same for the adult kids in this situation. Sometimes you have to get these people involved, so I don't fault the daughter for getting the police to escort her. Yeah, sometimes you have to get the police involved, the court. You just don't allow evil to destroy you. Like this woman is obviously destroying his kids and her husband. Special thank you to our brother Edmund. I appreciate you Edmund for all of your support, as well as Sean, Dexter, Dark Power, and Sir Shy. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. 
Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.